Here we are given the graph of two functions, f and g, and we're being asked to use these graphs to determine the result of some indicated operations. So for part a, we would read this as f minus g of negative 4. And I must remind you that when you see these parentheses next to one another, this is not multiplication, but rather this is indicating that negative 4 is going to be the input in this function. So I would first recommend that you rewrite this statement instead of f minus g of negative 4. Let's rewrite this as f of negative 4 minus g of negative 4 so that you don't make that mistake and think that you're actually multiplying because you're not. So f of negative 4, that's asking us when x is equal to negative 4, we want to find the output on function f. So if we go to x equals negative 4 and we go to function f, which is the solid graph here, we see that the y value is 2. So the output is 2. And then we'll do the same thing for g of negative 4. So when x is negative 4 on function g, we see that the output is negative 2. So this will be 2 minus negative 2 which gives us an end result of positive 4. So 4 is the result of that operation. In this case, the operation was subtraction. Moving on to B. On B, we're asked to find f times g of 1. So let's rewrite this. This is the same as finding f of 1 and then multiplying it by g of 1. So f of 1 times g of 1. So when x equals 1, if we go to function f, we see that the y value, the output, is negative 4. So f of 1 is equal to negative 4. g of 1, if we go to x equals 1 on function g, which is the dotted curve, we see that the output is positive 2. So therefore, when we multiply these, my final answer will be negative 8. Awesome. Let's look at C. G plus G of 0. So once again, I'm always going to encourage you that you rewrite this as G of 0 plus G of 0 so that you don't accidentally multiply by 0 because that's not what we're being asked to do. So now we're looking at finding the value of G of 0. When X equals 0, what is the Y value on function G? And function G is the dotted curve. So when x is equal to 0, let me change colors there so you can see it. When x equals 0, the y value is 1. So this turns into essentially 1 plus 1. So final answer here is going to be 2. Now let's look at d. g divided by f of 3, which when we rewrite that will be g of 3 divided by f of 3. So let's go back to our graph and this time take a look at when x equals 3, what is the y value on function g? So once again, g is the dotted line or dotted graph. When x equals 3, the y value is negative 2. And then f of 3, when x equals 3 on function f, the y value here is positive 2. So it looks like our final answer here, negative 2 divided by positive 2, will give us negative 1. So these first four were function operations, basically subtraction, multiplication, addition, and division. Now looking at the last four, we now are doing composition. So when you see that open dot, that's indicating composition. But I'm still going to recommend that you rewrite it. The, on uh, example E here, it says G of F of 2. And if we rewrite that in the alternative notation, it would be rewritten with a bunch of parentheses like this. But it's still read G of F of 2. So here we're going to begin on the inside. So we're going to begin by finding F of 2. What's the value of F of 2? So when x equals 2, what is the value, the y value, the output on function f, which is the solid graph? And that looks to be right here. When x equals 2, the output is negative 1. So f of 2 is equal to negative 1. 
So now that becomes the input into function g. So now we're putting negative 1 into function g and looking for the output. So g of negative 1, when x is negative 1 on function g, the y value, the output, is 0. So my final answer to this composition is just 0. Let's look at f. f looks a little funny. f of f of 2. So rewritten, that would be f, parenthesis, f, parenthesis, 2. But we don't read it like that. We say f of f of 2. So again, we're going to start with f of 2, which is the inner function. Let me erase my other marks. Okay, so f of 2, when x is equal to 2, the value of f, the solid graph, the y value, appears to be negative 1. So f of 2 is equal to negative 1. Now that becomes the input, so we're going to put that into function f and find f of negative 1. So f of negative 1, when x is negative 1 on function f, it looks that to be our y value, is negative 2. So my overall output here is going to be negative 2. Moving on to letter G, f of G of negative 4 will be rewritten as f, parenthesis, G, parenthesis, negative 4. So my inside function this time is g, we're trying to find g of negative 4. When x equals negative 4 on the graph of g, the y value, the output, is negative 2. So g of negative 4 is equal to negative 2. So that's going to become our input, and now we're going to put that into function f. And we'll look for f of negative 2. So when x is negative 2 on function f, which is the solid graph, my output is negative 1. So my final answer here will be negative 1. Last one, g of f of 0. It's already written nicely for us, so there's no need for us to rewrite it. So looking at the inside, which is f of 0, when x equals 0 on function f, the output here is negative 3. So f of 0 looks to be negative 3. So now that's going to become our input, and we're going to put negative 3 into function g. So g of negative 3, when x equals negative 3, the output, the y value, is negative 2. So my final answer here is going to be negative 2. And that shows you how to use a graph to do several operations as well as compositions with functions.